Hi guys, back with Bastards. I hope you're all keeping well. Um, I've been thinking about doing this vlog for some weeks now and uh, it's pretty basic uh, in what I'm going to say and it, you might even think it's quite moronic but I see this happen on so many occasions when shooting and it's just a sort of very few basic tips on how to look after your gun. If you look after your gun, uh, you know, it will last longer, it won't need a servicing uh, as much and also it will have a higher residual value when you come to resell it. So the first thing what I would say is go out and buy a gun sock when you store your gun in a cabinet. I see so many people put the guns in a metal cabinet, you know, it's usually quite a tight uh, fit, quite a tight opening to get the gun in and out. And I see the stock and uh, the barrels being bashed. This will protect your gun. The second thing is most guns come with a gun case. Yeah, use it. Manufacturers provide this for a reason. So when you're going shooting, put your gun in the gun case, put it in the back of your 4x4, the boot of your car, and when you've shot, disassemble the gun, put it back in the gun case and travel with it. Far too many people just put it in a gun slip and just sling it into the car. That will not protect the gun. Leads me on to about a gun slip, yeah. Always use a gun slip. I go to many shooting grounds and uh, people don't bother with a gun slip, they put it in the gun rack and the gun rack is invariably metal or it's wooden and it's not particularly well protected. You know, it does end up with the gun being scraped. Equally, I've been at shooting grounds when the heavens have opened and, um, you know, I see guns absolutely getting poured upon uh, that are in the gun racks. Uh, the gun slip will, again, protect your gun. And the final thing is always clean your gun. So when you've been shooting, it doesn't matter if you've had 500 cartridges through it that day or 50 cartridges, come back home and immediately clean your gun when the gun is still warm because that means the dirt and the grime does not get uh, logged into the gun. Now they're very, very basic approach, approach, <laughs> approaches, I should say, I know, just to looking after and maintaining the gun. But if you do those things, you'll find your gun uh, will function better, you will find that it will have a higher residual value. And I see so many people not do this. You know, when I talked about the gun slip, um, I want to give you an example. One day I was at a, a shooting ground and uh, I saw this guy pulled alongside me, he opened the boot of the car and there was his gun cocked in the boot of the car. You know, put it in a case, put it in a slip, use a sock and always clean the gun too. Stay tuned.